Hey everybody and welcome back. Well, this is part one of a new series where we're going to be doing a Warhammer. We're going to do a full workflow series. So we're going to start off in this video by modeling the prop. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be UV mapping, and then we're going to do prepping for texturing. And in the final video, we're going to do the actual texturing. All right, have fun. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keyshot. Okay guys, so I looked up a Warhammer on Google uh, because I got a request to model one and uh, there are a lot of uh, different types here, but it has to be very low poly and uh, game ready, right? So uh, we're going to jump into Maya and create something. Here we go. Okay guys, we're in uh, Maya. Let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with the metal part. Let's uh, assume it's metal. So I'm just going to take a polygon cube here and I'm going to hit R to scale that up. And let's uh, pull it out in this direction. And we are going to take it into uh, ZBrush, of course, but I do need to bevel this a little bit. So I'm going to right click and go in here to Edges, drag select all of these. And we're going to go up to Edit Mesh and the bevel. And then let's see, we'll tweak the fraction a little bit to, I would say, 0 0.1 is fine. Now that results in a few triangles on the corners, but no end guns anywhere, so that's fine. So that looks okay. Now we need two uh, kind of straps um, around it with uh, rivets on it. So for that, I'll just uh, go into Internet Edge Loop, option box. Let's go to multiple and set that to three, which will put one straight in the middle and then two on the edges there. And what I'm going to do is hit R so I can manipulate them and move them out a little bit. And I think that would be about right. Then I'm going to right click and go to Edge. And I'm going to double click on this one and Shift double click on this one. And we're going to go to, uh, let's see, Edit Mesh and uh, Bevel. We'll tweak that fraction again until we have the width that we like. And that's going to be either 0.2. I think 0.2 is fine. Okay, then we're going to go in, we're going to right click, we're going to get a face, we're going to select all of these and all of these, hit Control E to extrude, and let's do 0.3, let's see if that's enough, maybe a bit more, 0.4, 0.4 is fine. Okay, so we have that, now we need to have the mount for the handle. And for that, what we're going to do is we're going to take another polygon uh, pipe here. I'm going to hit 4 for wireframe mode. I'm going to hit R to scale this up. So I hit 5 to go back. We're going to go in here and set this to, I think 5 would look nice. Yeah, 5 is fine. We're going to hit W. We're going to move that down. We're going to scale it down. Hit R, scale it down. W to move that up, like so. F to frame. And that's where I want to have it pretty much. Make sure it's not cutting into the geo here. Now we don't need those faces on top. So I can just go in and delete those. So I'm going to right click on a face. I'm going to drag select and then shift drag select and then delete. So I get rid of those and then we're going to go to object mode. We're going to move that up until we're in position like so. We're going to right click the vertex, drag select the bottom ones like this, and we're going to hit R to scale down. And we don't want the handle to be too thin, so we can either scale this guy up, which makes kind of sense. We do need to move it down now a little bit. Let's look at the overall proportions. That might be a bit big. So we're going to scale it down a little. And bring that back up all right okay so now we need to create the handle and we're gonna have the handle fit in right here and I can actually go in and delete those interfaces I don't need them because we're not gonna see them so we'll take these we'll hit delete and delete those as well all right so now we can go in and take that edge and double click on it and with control E to extrude W to pull down, and that's going to be our initial handle, right? Now, I think it's a bit too thin, so what I'm going to do is select this one as well, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to hit R and we're going to kind of scale that out a little to make it a bit thicker. And then hit W to bring that down like so. That kind of makes sense. And then we're going to go in and we're going to go into uh, Vertex, Drag Select. We're going to kind of determine the overall length. That would probably be about right. Okay. Then we're going to go into the bottom and we're going to go to Edge and that's now selected. And we're going to go to Mesh and Fill Hole. And that's now an end gone, of course. So we're going to go into Face. And we're going to go to Poke. And now we need to make sure that that is aligned properly. So hit After Frame. And let's uh, make sure that looks a little bit more the way it should. Let's go to Vertex. And just hit W to move it. Let's just snap that. Now it's not perfectly aligned. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. All right. Okay, so we have that. Now we need to make the handle a bit thicker, of course, uh, where the handle's going to be. So for that, a couple of ways we can go about doing that. I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, edge, edge loop, option box. Open that up. We're going to set it to manual. And then I'm going to go in. Let's start somewhere around here, I would say. That kind of makes sense. And then we're going to hit Q on a keyboard. We're going to right click, go to face. We're going to drag like this. Control E to extrude. 0.3 on the thickness. Let's do a little bit more than that. Let's do one. We're going to tweak the offset a little bit. We're going to bring it down like so. And I think that looks fine. And then we can go in and we'll go into insert edge loop again. And we'll set it to multiple and then we'll set it to one. So it will be centered every time. And then we're going to go in here, one here, and here, and here, 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 and here. Let me just count what we have here. Let's see. I can do one, two, three. So I'm going to queue on my keyboard. I'm going to right click on the face. We're going to select this one, that one, that one. On that one and we're going to control E to extrude let's do 0 0.1 all right so then we need some kind of uh, ring or whatnot to hold a strap um, to uh, put on the wrist so we're gonna have to create something here and what I'll do is I will um, let's see if I can do that from here what I'll do is I'll take a um, polygon pipe Hit W to move that down. We're going to D to rotate it. Hold on J. And flip it up. F to frame. Not quite there yet. Do one more. And we're going to go in and we're going to set this to 5. That would work. We're going to F to frame that. We're going to go in and go into object mode. We're going to hit W to move that up after frame. Let's hit R to scale it. E to rotate and let's rotate that so it will fit on the bottom here and just bring that in like so and see if that works out for us or not. Okay that obviously needs to be a bit smaller so we're gonna hit R and scale that down and then bring that up and now let's position it correctly, all right? So let's go to the top here. We're gonna hold on X. And then hit R, scale it down a bit. And I think that makes the most sense to do it that way. Yeah, looks kinda neat. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's big enough, but we can fix that. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna right click, go to vertex. Drag select all of these hit R and hit W and bring that down and then I'll take these and I'll hit R and make sure I am in object mode uh, world mode sorry and then we'll take these and these I'll push them out like so. 
I think that looks fine. And then of course we need to have a strap of some sort. And for that what I'll do is I'll create a curve. So I'm going to go in and let's go into this view right here. Nope, not that view. Um, this view right here, sorry, yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, create. We're going to go to curve tool, CV curve tool. And I'm basically going to start to make a strap that will be able to wrap through this guy. I'm going to go back up. And go all the way back in here. Now we might need to tweak that, of course, but it'll look something like that, right? Okay, so then we're going to do is we're going to go in, we're going to create a cube, a W, it's going to be up there, move it down, after frame. We want our cube to be at the beginning of this guy right here, and we're going to right click at a face, and we're going to drag click all of these, and then we only have this guy left. And we're going to go to uh, modify and center pivot. And then let's have it look from this view. All right. So what we want is for this to be squished a bit. So hit R. Scale it down. And that should be about right, I would say. So we're going to go in. We're going to get a face. We're going to select the face. Shift like this guy. We're going to control E to extrude. And then we're going to start to add thickness and divisions and as we add divisions and I shouldn't have touched thickness actually just add divisions you'll see that we're starting to get our strap now we need to rotate that of course and we will uh, but before we do that let's make sure it's in the right position okay so uh, I'm gonna go in here and this guy needs to move up a little bit looks like like so and just so we don't have to move everything else uh, actually let's just move it well yeah we'll rotate this same deal um, just make sure we're in the right mode here we're gonna go to world mode and hold on J and there you go so we can now take this in its entirety and move that up and it shouldn't distort that much but just to make sure what we'll do is we'll move this guy into place instead We'll worry about this guy later. Just want to make sure that we're positioning this all right. Okay, so that seems to be okay. So we're going to go in here. Let's hit three to preview smooth. Yeah, we can make that work. All right. So I'm going to go to edit, delete by type, history. So I can now go in and get rid of my curve. And I can now go in and add a few edge loops here. So let's go in to insert edge loop, option box. Open that up, set that to manual. We'll put one in here, and we'll put one in here. And we might want to have a little bit more control over this area. So let's add a few there. And one here, one here. I think all oh, this not too bad. We don't want to create too much polygons but this will work all right okay so now that we have that the Q on our keyboard and we're gonna go in and we're gonna hit three to preview smooth and want to go back and what we need to do is we need to manipulate this part here so we're gonna go to these vertices these these vertices and we're gonna hit W and we're gonna move that up like so we're gonna rotate them W bring that up so we get something more like that right now I'm happy with what this is looking like so we're gonna go in and we're gonna go to object mode we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth which will give us this and then we can go in yeah it looks alright we can go in we can go to uh, edit delete by type history modify freeze transformations and then we can hit W and we can move this down a little bit and hit E to rotate it and 
and just try to get this into a nice position that will work for us, right? So I can't see the bottom part there. That would probably be around here, I think. Yeah, so push it in like this. And I think that's all right. Okay, so we've got a wrist strap for this guy. Now this needs to be punched together one way or the other. So we're gonna go into vertex, we're gonna drag select these guys and get that in touch with these guys. All right. And then what we simply need to do is go in and take a polygon sphere and we're gonna bring that down. I have to frame that. Let's go in, set this to five and five and we'll go in and we'll go to face delete half of it just take this and we'll move that up and move that in after frame are to scale down w to bring in so there's that Rotate that a little. And then with Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J, flip around. W to move down. And of course it's not quite there yet. W to move up. E to rotate a bit. All right. So there's that. Okay, so we got this guy. I think this looks all right. Uh, we did move the top of the handle there a little bit. So we're gonna take all of this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that back into place. Hit W to move. And I get a feeling that I got way too much selected or maybe not. Uh, I do not know. So I can just, so I can just go in and bring that back into position. And that should look okay. All right, so pretty straightforward. Now this is uh, going to be our uh, low poly model. So uh, that's it for the modeling bit. In the next video, we are going to do um, the UV mapping. And then in the, the video after that, we're gonna do uh, texturing, all right? Well, see you guys in the next video, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.